Hello, welcome back to the Make Do Workshop. This is part four of the desk PC build, and uh, this time we're going to continue with this PC, I guess you could call it the PC chassis, PC case, whatever you want to call it. The housing for the PC, we're going to continue on with this. Now we're going to paint it today. We're going to cut some holes in the front for things like the CD drive. Yes, I still have a CD drive and the power switches and things like that and then finally I'm going to paint the whole thing black because I think that will look really good with all the components in it and lit up um, so I've just uh, I've got the front on I don't think that was on last time you guys saw this and I've just been test fitting bits so as you can see I've got the fans sort of offered up there and that'll be fine on the outside let's have a quick look how that'll be what I've got here is um, some black filters and they're going to go on like that, two of them. And it will be similar on the other side. Uh, but I'm going to hold off drilling the holes on the other side for now because it won't just be a couple of fans over here. It's going to be, um, it's going to be the water cooling radiator. It's an all-in-one cooler. Um, but the radiator is going to go there and I think I might need a bit more clearance than I have this side for the fans. So I'm going to wait until I've got all the components. I'll wait till I've got it painted, I think, before I start getting components out. don't know. I'll have to see, see about that. But anyway, I'll do that later. Um, so as for mounting components in here, I've had to come up with a few workarounds. So, for example, the power supply unit. Normally you would mount it with... If you can see that sort of out of focus a bit there there you go one of those little screws because it's only got to go through waff a thin sheet of aluminium but this time it's got to go through 12 mil ply and they're just not long enough so i had to go out and purchase um where are they here they are some longer ones like that so that they will go all the way through the, uh, the plywood. By about that much, that'd be good. Plenty. And the motherboard. Now, to mount the motherboard to the bottom using the motherboard standoffs, I ordered some of these. These are uh, brass press fit inserts. And what you do is you'll, I'll drill a, a hole about that size, tiny bit smaller in the plywood and then sort of knock these in. And it's sort of like a captive nut. And then you can screw your motherboard standoffs into those and it will look really nice and neat and secure. Now, I had to go and buy um, some, even, even though I've got a whole box full of motherboard standoffs, I had to go and buy some more and it's because computers are weird so although the screw that you screw down into the standoff through the motherboard is an M3 the bottom is not an M3 it's a 632 UNC thread and it's just a bit too big for an M3 really odd that so I had to go out of my way to find some standoffs that are m3 on both sides so that my motherboard screws can go in and they themselves can screw into these brass inserts that i bought so bear that in mind um, and it's everything else everything else is the same so like the fans normally let me see if i can find them go. here's your typical fan screw and effectively it's just a regular it's almost like a wood screw um, and it just sort of grips in to the plastic of the fan um, they're obviously way too short, but in this case, I don't have to go out of my way and try and find... I did actually look to see if you can get longer versions of these. It's pretty much impossible. So, um, just a plain old standard wood screw like that will do the job. Okay, so plan for today then. Cut some holes in the front for CD drive. Um, I've got some nice power switches here. Drill some holes for those. I've also got one of these switches, which is... Um, just a bit of a novelty really but I'm gonna add the 
the key switch in there to um, it's sort of like an ignition switch I suppose and uh, I'm going to use it to um, disable the computer you can uh, if basically what I'm going to do is wire it up to the power supply unit and it will cut power to the PC um, I'll go into more detail when we come to wiring the whole thing in um, but I thought that would be a bit cool um, yep so holes there get some components out and um, mark the holes for the motherboard standoffs as well and I need to come up with some sort of arrangement for the hard drives keep them nice and secure and um, ideally I'll be using some sort of anti-vibration fixings for those so they don't make a loud noise and um, obviously the holes there for the uh, radiator and fans and finally we'll be painting the whole thing black and what we'll do is we'll screw into the battens from inside through the plywood and into the batten and then up through the bottom of the batten and that's what's going to hold this whole deal to the bottom it'll be nice and secure it'll be easy to remove if it ever needs to be removed for whatever reason so quite a lot to be getting on with let's make a start There we go, looks alright doesn't it? Quite happy with that, so I'm going to do, uh, do those switches, oh and the CD drive we must do. Let's go. There we go, got our power and reset buttons in, and our isolation switch, so now I just need to take the front off, put the CD drive in, and I also at some point need to put some uh, USB, well I've got a unit coming down here, um, USBs and other connectors on it, but I need to wait for that to turn up so I can get the measurements bang on. Uh, so for now that'll be it, that might have to wait until the next video. Okay, we've got our CD drive in, and as you can see our top is still sat here ready to go. Um, so I'm going to get the box outside now and get it painted, and then we'll bring it back inside and start installing components. is all painted up pretty much ready to start um, installing components and that's the painting all done I've sat the the top on there so it's a bit of a sneak preview is what we're getting but this is effectively what we'll have I think that looks pretty good actually I'm quite happy with that um, so we've got the back of the box is flush with the back of the top there to leave as much overhang at the front as possible for your knees. Uh, we've got a bit of overhang on each side for the legs and of course we've got our great big hole here and the glass will sit in there and here we'll have our computer. There we go, got our bits and pieces in frame so the frame I've decided to build inside the box rather than on the outside I think it'll look a bit tidier that way um, so I've got the screws coming in from the outside and into the wood here and that's really secure and what we'll have then is some screws coming up through the wood and into the bottom of the desktop over there so I've got one on each side I'll have a strip along the back and another one along the front and that'll be job done. 
Okay, so the frame is actually finished, despite the lack of it. It is fixed to the underside of our desktop. You bring the whole desktop over with the frame on it, and it will sit sort of inside this box, and it sort of slots in and keeps itself all secure. I'll go over that in more detail in the next video. Um, I've also just measured up and drilled the holes here for the other for the um, that will be the exhaust and the radiator there and that's the intake I'll uh, tidy that up in a minute and just give that a quick lick of paint and finally I've gone around the the top here with a, a strip of this it's like um, it soldiers like a draft excluder for doors and there you go and um, that will butt up against the bottom of our desktop really nicely and it'll make a nice seal and if there are any gaps due to my dodgy jigsaw work, it will take care of all of that. And it will cut down on some of the vibration noise, I'm sure, from all of the hard drives and stuff in here. So, and I think it looks pretty good. And um, these here are the screws. Um, so the desktop comes over, sits in here, and these screws along all around the edges are what will secure it into well onto the top um, they'll get painted black as well so that would be the end of this video uh, next time what we shall do is make a start installing some of the components in here um, I still need to actually put the standoffs in the ply but that's pretty much the only thing left to do before we get on and install the components I'll also be finally fixing the top to our box and installing the legs for the desk and um, the legs will actually be fixed to the top the desktop and it will the legs will sit either side of our our box here so join me again for part five where we shall be completing our build thanks for joining me in the make do workshop see you next time